Hello and welcome to the next deck tech video. Today we are jumping into Popper with a personal favorite of mine, Inside Out Combo. This deck is extremely fun and can even pull off a turn two kill. The list we are going to be going over today originates from Channel Fireball and will run you roughly $120, which is a bit pricey for Popper, but worth it for the fun combo this deck has to offer. Before we get into the deck list, I just want to say if you are not already playing Popper, you are definitely missing out. As the professor likes to call it, Popper is basically legacy light. And due to community pushes lately, we are seeing it played in GPs as a genuine competitive format. Team that with the unbelievably low deck prices and you have one awesome format. If you're looking to jump into Popper, I highly suggest checking it out. But without further ado, let's jump into Inside Out Combo. This deck has one singular goal in mind, which is to do as much damage as possible using Tireless Tribe. A playset of the tribe gives you a 1-1 creature for one white that has a unique ability. By discarding a card from your hand, you can give it plus zero plus four. On the surface, this looks pretty terrible, but when teamed with Inside Out, you can create a giant X1 creature extremely quickly. The idea here is to play Tireless Tribe on turn one, discard a ton of cards, and swing with your giant tribe after casting Inside Out, giving you a lethal swing. As you can imagine, an all-in combo strategy like this one will require a lot of cantrips, and thankfully Popper gets pretty much all of them. Playsets of Gitaxian Probe, Ponder, Preordain, Brainstorm, and Gush all help you dig for your combo, as well as provide fodder for discarding to your Tireless Tribe. We also run 3 Anticipate, as it isn't quite as good as the rest, but still helps you dig in a pinch. Brainstorm in tandem with a playset of Evolving Wilds and 3 Ash Barons also allow you to shuffle some of the less helpful cards away for a chance at some better ones. Being a combo deck, we will of course need some protection against opposing counter magic and removal. The package included in this deck runs 3 Dispels and 4 Circular Logic. With a madness cost of 1 blue mana, Circular Logic is perfect for this deck, as you can cast it while pumping your Tireless Tribe. We also run a playset of Shadow Rift in this deck, as it essentially makes the tribe unblockable while drawing you another card to discard to its effect. Lastly, 9 Islands and 2 Planes round out the mana base for this deck, giving us the full main board. As you can tell, this version of the deck is extremely all-in, but other cards have come up in recent deck lists that are definitely worth considering. Dizzy Spell is a great card to transmute into a missing combo piece. Giga Drowse gives you another out to allowing your Tireless Tribe to connect with your opponent. Repeal is a super flexible card, providing outs to troublesome permanents and drawing you a card for fodder. Days can be a good backup counter for ensuring your combo goes off without any issue. And finally, Augur of Bolas is great at digging through your deck to help find the cards you need while also providing a blocker in the early turns of the game. As always with sideboarding, you should really choose cards based on what you expect to see in your local meta, but we do have a few worthwhile suggestions. Hydro Blast is always great against opposing red decks, along with Circle of Protection Red. Piracy Charm can help sure up the game against opposing blue decks, giving the tribe Island Walk, making it unblockable for the opponent. Disenchant is always useful against Affinity and Boggles. And finally, Spire Golem is a great way to punch through the last few points of damage if you find yourself a few points short with your Tireless Tribe. Again, this deck is a bit of a glass cannon, as it is extremely dedicated to winning with the combo. If you feel like you have a better build, please take a moment and share it down below. If we like it, we will feature it on an upcoming Deck Tech video. Thank you all for watching this Deck Tech video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button and comment down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to enjoy more content just like this. If you have a suggestion for an upcoming Deck Tech, please let us know in the comment section. Our goal is to make content that you want to watch, and what better way to do that than using decks you want to see. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next Deck Tech video.